instead of writing a recipe, there's no measurements, plus I don't speak in feet, toes, nails, whatever the silly measurements are. So I just kind of do it approximately. So basically, uh, all you need is flour, eggs, milk, teensy bit of salt, and I use seltzer water, but I don't, you don't really need it, but it makes them more fluffy, if you will. So as you can see, this is the oil that I use. Flour, not oil. Oh, sorry, flour, it's Anna Organic, right? Tipo zero zero. If you use, don't use all purpose flour because it tastes like flour if you put too much, it's shit. So use this one. Technically it should be tip 500, but I haven't seen it here in the US. Anyways, so I put approximately, it depends how much you're making, I put about a third to about a half, as you can see, come here buddy. I'll just put it in here. Theoretically, you should put eggs first and then add flour as you go, but it, whatever. I find this to be a little bit easier. See my face. <laughs> See, so I put two eggs. You can put one, it doesn't really matter. I just feel it tastes a little bit better if you do it with few eggs. So just teensy bit of salt. Oh, I can't see anything. All right, that was maybe too much, but it doesn't really matter. You won't taste it. Don't put sugar. Some people put sugar in them. That's ridiculous. Um, and that's pretty much what it is. Um, the way I know in the end is I check the consistency. So usually you want to put first the eggs, then a little bit of flour, and then you add milk and flour as you go, but it doesn't really make much difference. So what I'm going to do, I just add it all. You can also do it with water, it's just tastier with milk. I also don't know how much milk I put, this was about a third left, and then we'll see how much of this we'll put. Alright, let me just open this, because... And also it doesn't matter when you add seltzer, but I generally like to... It's either Perrier or seltzer or whatever, it doesn't really matter. And that's pretty much it. So we're gonna start. No. Plugging in your blender helps. <laughs> okay, this obviously needs it's too thick, so we need more fluid. So it doesn't. There we go. Oscar Award. Really, that's pretty much it. You don't need to blend it for long, three, four minutes maximum. Just make sure that flour doesn't have those little balls, how do you call that? Like little lumps, that's all. You just want to really... That's why some people add flour as they go, but this is it. I just checked the consistency with a ladle and I don't know how to describe it. You don't want it too thick or too thin, otherwise if it's too thin, meaning if you put too much milk, it's going to, they're going to break. This seems okay. I don't know if you can see from the video. I don't know if that helps. I usually actually know by the weight and how it feels. But, you know, I'm pretty satisfied with this. So, that's it. Alright, and what I would suggest, invest $20 into a, $20, $30, or whatever the hell it costs, into a pancake. Crepe uh, pan. Yeah, because... If you use any other art, that it's shit and it's much harder. If you do not have a good um, pancake uh, pan, you want to add a little bit of oil in there so they don't stick. But if you have a good non-stick pan like we do, you really don't have to do it. I'll just put the teensiest bit in there. It should help with it, but just a little drop. 
that's it. I don't know if this is old wives tales or not. This is how I saw my mom and grandma do it, so that's how I do it. But that's it. Very easy, very quick. And it ends up being very tasty. It doesn't matter what kind of milk you use. It's gonna get high in here. If you have a good pancake or crepe, however you wanna call it, depending whether you're from Britain or the US or wherever you are from, and you don't really need oil. I just put a teeny bit of oil and I spread it with this. Whether it helps, I think it helps just a little bit, but you don't technically uh, need it. Again, consistency, I, I just kinda go. Of course, pancakes are the best with either Nutella. If you come to, uh, let's say Croatia, Serbia, or that area, one of the most popular, which I don't have here, one of the most popular flavors is, it's called shipak. It's a um, rose hip in English. Excellent, if you can find it. It's really tasty. Unfortunately, I haven't seen it here in the US. And these are our two favorite flavors. What you want to do, you want to heat up your frying pan on high. And once it's high, you put it down on, I don't know, midway or... Right, also depending on the size of the pan that you have. With this one and this ladle is pretty big, so I need about half or so. And then off we go. Easy, easy. It doesn't also take long, it takes once it's hot. I don't know, 15 seconds. 15, 20 seconds, maybe half a minute, and it's ready to be flipped. Now, if you're a pro, you can flip it with a pan, which I won't do now, or you can just use a knife or something and just flip it. You don't want to have it too hot though, because then they're going to burn too fast, so that's why I have it on three, and our high is like eight or something like that. All right, and it's fine. Usually also you know it's ready because it's going to start making bubbles. But at this point it's also very easy to move it. All you do is this. Boom. Done. Easy. Perfect. See how it moves. It's because of the pan. If you have a crappy one, it doesn't do that. Jimmy. It's even faster, the other side usually cooks faster. Yeah, it's done. And we got ourselves a pancake, or palachinka as we would say it in Croatian, Serbian, Hungarian as well. And it's ready to be... Okay, John! Do you want applesauce or schmuckers? Okay. So her dad's gonna do it herself, himself. Okay, in case you're wondering how much to put, probably a dumb question, but if you've never done it, honestly, I don't know. Put whatever you think it's good for you. Um, also the way you do them, you wanna do it here, through the middle, and you don't have to do the whole thing. If you just go through the middle, you're good. Also the way I, Fold them, I go from the beginning, and then I go like this. Some people do half, and then they roll, but I don't like that. So, there you go. But ultimately, you can do whatever you want. And this is where I will say, you have to eat this with your hands, not with a fork and a knife. Unlike pizza, you eat it with a fork and a knife. Mm, lovely.